By watching this short video, you will learn the quick and easy steps to wire the UC1 Universal Control to a Honeywell 8184 primary control. Be sure to follow all electrical codes for wiring when making these field connections. Start by removing the power from the heater and open the primary control so you can see the wiring connections of the control. Separate the black burner motor wire from the orange wire of the 8184 primary control. Connect the orange wire of the 8184 to terminal number 1 on the UC1. Splice a new white wire in with the existing whites on the 8184 and connect it to terminal number 2 on the UC1. Connect the black wire from the burner motor to terminal number 4 on the UC1. Next, make sure the red voltage selector is on the 115 volt position. Finally, connect the 115 volt power supply voltage to the L and N terminals on the UC1. It is important to note that the installer must supply overload and disconnect protection. If not previously completed, you also need to attach and wire the UC1 whip to the circuit board and to the venter. Carefully slide the black, white, blue, yellow, and green wires, four of which have female spade connectors, into the UC1 cabinet. Attach the black to the MTR terminal and the white to the N terminal. The blue and yellow will connect to P1 and P2 and are not polarity sensitive. The green wire will attach to the box grounding screw. The opposite end of the UC1 whip will connect to the venter. Connect the black and white leads to the venter motor leads. The blue and yellow should attach to the fan prover switch, and the green wire will connect to the venter ground. You have now completed the wiring. Refer to your manual or contact Churnland Direct for additional help. If you are watching this on your mobile phone or tablet, hit the back button to return to the previous screen.